Hey guys, this is Gregor from Personus, and if you're struggling with some of your songs opening, loading, or saving very slowly, then we have some very interesting new diagnostic options in Studio One 5.4 that I want to show you today. So let's just jump right into it. So whenever you find a song, like for example this one, where you're not happy with the loading and saving times, or you want to investigate what's taking so long, then first of all close the song. So go to File and Close. You can also hit Command and W on a Mac or Control and W on Windows. And then you should find the song on the start page in the recent files list. Now you right click that song and you open it up with options. And here you're going to see a bunch of new options that were introduced in version 5.4. We had these three already previously. Do not load Personas plugins, do not load third party plugins and disable ARA support. Uh, but now we also have profile document loading and saving. Now, uh, not loading personas or third-party plugins can be helpful when troubleshooting crashes, uh, first and foremost, I'd say. Because if you load up the song without third-party plugins and you find that suddenly everything is running just fine, no more crashes, then there's most likely a third-party plugin inside of this song that needs to be updated or replaced. So this would be a good troubleshoot strategy when going for a process of elimination kind of thing. But profile document loading and profile document saving, these new options that we have, are especially useful, I find. So just go ahead and tick these and then open the song by clicking OK. Now you'll see the song starts to load. And after the song is loaded, we get the first diagnostic report that we selected, which is the load time diagnostic. And this gives us some very interesting information that can help us troubleshoot these issues. So in this song, we can see that 86% of the time was actually spent on loading plugins, third-party plugins at that. And the ones with the highest average load time were Battery 4, uh, Multiband Sidechain, Echo Boy Junior, and Nexus. Now, this doesn't mean that these plugins are name-shamed or anything like that. I don't want to name-shame any plugin here. But it could be a hint as to what's taking Studio One so long, right? In total, you can also see uh, Battery 4 took 5 seconds, Multiband Sidechain took 3 seconds, and if you count it together, it's still a very acceptable load time, I find. But there's also much more extreme cases where this can be a very handy troubleshooting tool. You also have the duration tab here where you can sort everything by load time average, the amount of times that the plugin is being used in the song, the plugin count, and the total load time. So all very, very useful stuff I find. Now when we hit save, because we already had this option ticked here on the start page, we will now get another diagnostic report as soon as we go ahead and save the song. So let's just go to file and save. And when I do that, I get another diagnostics box that tells me that the saving of the song took roughly 0.4 seconds. 19% of that time was spent saving plugins and once again, multiband sidechain at the top of the list. However, it's interesting to see that battery four, for instance, took a lot longer to load than to save. We also have the durations tab again with the same parameters as before. Uh, can be very useful information. And then we see like the total amount of save time spent on a plugin is 0 0.012 seconds. So that's really nothing. Uh, you don't just find plugin information here, you also find like music file and chord file, audio bending information. So if there's any processing happening in your song, that's also being considered when making this load and save time analysis. And uh, yeah, this can just be an incredibly useful uh, tool to find out what plugin is taking so long when trying to load or save a song. And then hopefully you'll be able to update it. And if you already updated it, then you can get in touch with the plugin developer to get this fixed as soon as possible. Uh, you can also export this diagnostic report right away and attach that to the ticket that you're sending to tech support. And also, uh, just so you don't forget that you're currently in diagnostics report, you also notice this one icon up here that tells you that the document is currently loaded with the safety options, profile document loading and profile document saving. So I hope these new diagnostics tools will help you track down what plugin is behaving not so nicely in your sessions and hopefully you can restore safe and load times to a good average. Thank you for watching.